long arm to put them out there. Great. Those are significantly faster and should help things a lot. Concrete research is almost done. That's always good. Take all of these steel. Alright, what should we do next? Um, hmm. Yeah, let's start working on robotics. I like that idea. Start getting some robots that deliver things to us. Take some of the legwork out of this base building so that we can continue building stuff and not have to go getting parts all the time. Okay, we're gonna go over this way now, not too far. Don't, oh, I didn't have enough copper. Yeah, that's going to be in somewhat short supply until we get a few more of those smelters up. I think that ought to be enough. All right, we only have to run it over to about where this wall is, so it's not too far. I'm going to grab more belts while we're heading back out there. And we'll take belt travel. No better way to travel than the belt. Right, get a bunch more of these electric poles made. See, that's far enough. Let's see here, and I'm gonna do it on the corners. Well, we need more guns. Yeah, sure, I'll build as many as I can. Why not? Uh, did I research lighting yet? I did. I researched lamps. I'm going to get a couple lamps built as well. Uh oh, unfortunately, we're going to have to build all the guns first, so why don't I go ahead and just clear out a couple trees until then. Got a whole lot of trees to chop down here. Let's just try to tune out the other noise and turn this one up a little bit. And it's almost daylight out as well. Oh, still no ammo has passed by for you, huh? Okay, well, here, you can have what I have, and I'll take what's on the belt. And we'll probably want to hold off on building any more guns for now until those are not flashing red. Well, 
They're not going to be flashing red because I just gave them all my ammo, but you know what I mean. Wait until there's some ammo built up on the belt, then we'll build a few more guns. Build up a nice perimeter, if you will. Oh man, maybe I should have played Fortress Craft. Ah, that's okay. We need to get these Factorio achievements. It's been bugging me. Just do a quick playthrough, get all the achievements, and then play with the mods. There's a lot of new mods I want to try out. Steel's backing up pretty well here, so I'm gonna go and grab all of that. Go do some more work on the copper smelting. Ooh. Research is finished. Construction robots. Yes. See, you're not getting any more. Oh, okay. We'll get a few more copper drills made up. Well, we're down here. This one's tapped out. I gotta keep an eye on that. Since I have so many mines down there, they're eventually going to be getting tapped out. Oh, we've got a lot of ammo in here for these two. I am gonna leave these here because there's not much protection down here. These are my preliminary defenses. Now more extractors for the copper. Soon I'm going to need long-handed near inserters, or something like that, or I'm going to have to put smelters on the other side if those don't exist without bolts. Oh, my inventory is full? Oh, wow, there's a lot of ammo that just came out of those. I forgot about these. I'm going to shut these off. Okay, construction robots is finished. Logistics robots. Great. Okay, seeing as how I accidentally just picked up a ton of ammo, 
and we need ammo to continue this wild contraption. I'm gonna dump a whole lot of this regular ammo under the belt. Let's go grab some more. All right, I built some lights. Oh yeah, that's a lot of ammo. Now let's trade the wood for the ammo. I'm gonna reclaim these factories as well. No reason to have ammo production in two different places until much later on in the game. Pretty soon we're going to put steel on the main belt though. Which not quite yet. Why do I need more copper plates? Oh, I always need more copper plates. Not anymore. Oh, I have two more smelters. run this copper line all the way up here and start smelting copper on the other side. We need to get back on the bar. Again, we need more extractors. Or drills, as they are called in Factorio. I was wondering why I was lagging a bit there. I had the video preview running. I don't need that. I don't really need to see what I'm doing on Twitch as well as on my own screen. Well, I did make more of those. They're just still hiding. going to be in my way. Lots of copper now. Fantastic. Still not quite enough, I guess. We've just about filled up this yellow line though, so oops, let's upgrade it to a red line. And I have two more extractors, so I'll smack those where
great. Getting back to the defensive line now. Oh, research is done. Um, logistics slots and logistics system. Yeah, we need to get going on that, but I'll get all the research done for it first. And we can work on the... Oh, wow, this... Side of the belt is completely full. That's good. Let's fill in some of these gaps. Right here is another gap. This is definitely a gap. Cutting a little bit into the oil field, but I think that'll be okay. This line it will be extended multiple, multiple times. And once we get the construction robots, we can tear up entire segments in a second flat. Extending this belt will allow me to put more ammo on it as well. Almost hit the water here, which is great. Natural defense. Fighters can't cross the water and they haven't made flying biters, to my knowledge, yet. Although I think there's a mod that adds flying biters in. Last time I was playing, I It would definitely add an interesting challenge to the game. Flying enemies. Of course, at that point, I would fill in the water with the landfill and build a better defense that's more thorough. is what I call a semi-decent defensive line, bordering, protecting our base. A little bit anyway. Definitely need more lights though, that, that's one thing. We ran out of green circuit boards. Green circuit board line. Go stack to 200. Okay. Oh, next research. Logistic system. Ah, uh, that's going to require the next science pack, so we can't do that one just yet. Uh, logistic trash slot, sure. this ammo off. That belt filled back up again. How about more guns? Iron gear, copper plate, More smelters? Yeah, we can do a lot more furnaces. Finish off the copper. Got plenty on the line. Let's get rid of all of this coal. So they don't do much of 
had a storage area started over here. I'd rather keep everything in one area if I can. I don't really need to carry around that much coal. Just one stack. I'm going to start putting away some of these old buildings as well. Like the burner mining drill, small electric pole, burner inserter. I'm going to keep the stone furnaces. Alright, we'll keep everything else. Run these all the way up. Until we have so much extra power that it doesn't matter to us. We're doing okay on power, but that's just because it's daylight. I know we're going to suffer a little bit at night. Okay. Still not a full line, but that's all the smelters I made. I just saw I have 50 of the electric poles on this bar. And some of these as well. Oh, next. Research. Yeah, let's go for automobilism. Just for fun. Let's get cars. Alright, the next thing I'm going to focus on now that the copper is pretty full and our ammo line is full is we're going to get steel made and put on a main belt. I think now that I have all of those up there, I can move all of these guns. And what I'm going to do with all of these that I just picked up is intermittently throughout the base. Yeah, intermittently we'll leave guns just randomly, just in case they get past the main defenses. Just in the kind of places where we can't really do anything else with them anyway. Like, there's not much else I can do in this little 4x4 space, so why not just plop a gun down there, just in case they get through. I don't get my base wrecked. Or my face. Speaking of getting through being attacked up here. Yeah, it looked like it was so few of them, we don't even get to see the bodies. They're probably in the trees somewhere. I'm gonna put one there. Let's go put one down by the ammo. And I think we'll just do that. Yeah. Why not? Definitely over here by the tech center. 